freaking club in here, baby. All right, Coast Show coming at you at the Lion's Den. This is gonna be the Road to 300 Part Two. So in the first video, if you didn't watch it, I go over my plan on how I'm gonna attain a 300 pound strict press. So I'll put a code, or a code, there ain't no codes, there's cards. I'm gonna put a card right up here. Uh, and then during my workout today, I'm gonna implement that plan and kind of go over some of the exercises, why I'm picking these exercises, and how I think it's gonna transfer over to my overhead press. So, let's go, baby. So to start off this session today, guys, we are going to do a heavy single for the strict press. Now, yesterday, I had actually hit uh, 400 pounds for reps on the Viking press, so you guys can check that out right now. Come on, there you go. Come on. Come on, Joe, two more. Come on. Ah. And a lot of my working sets were around 370 pounds. So that was me getting in a push press variation and it's specific to my competition coming up. Uh, but that felt really good. So not sure where my single is going to be today because I had already done uh, shoulder work yesterday, but it's still good to work that skill of a heavy single. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling freaking awesome right now. Uh, we have 185, which was just a little weird because it was lighter, so the bar kind of rolled in my hands a little bit. But then I went up to uh, 205 and 225, and they felt like butter. So I'm thinking minimally, we're gonna get around 275, 280 today, which if I got 280, that would be a PR overall. And I'll take that baby uh, PR for today and be super stoked about that. What I don't have on is elbow sleeves and a belt yet, and I'm actually not lifting in lifters today. I'm just wearing uh, these, just some uh, some Nikes. So, you know, uh, when it comes to game day, when I have everything on, I will only be able to perform uh, better. So let's keep rolling with the training footage and see how we do. All right, so, just recapping the single session is I hit 280, uh, which was freaking awesome. It felt a lot faster than I thought. It just felt better overall. My shoulders are feeling very strong. So took the next jump up, went to 295, hit that, and was very stoked. There was definitely more of a grind with that, uh, but I know if I rest a little bit, 300 is gonna be there. So went up to 300 freaking pounds, and I know I just made the video talking about how I'm gonna get 300 pounds, and I did not think today was gonna be the day, but, Guys, check this out. So there we go, we've hit 300 pounds, which is huge for me. That is a personal best with the strict press. Uh, so now we gotta move on forward with the train, which is gonna be 300 plus for strict press, uh, but just overall stoked with that performance today. So the next thing on tap is we're gonna work some pin presses around nose level, uh, which is something I talked about before in the previous video. And really that's just gonna help uh, working on my sticky point and uh, strengthening my triceps for the lockout. So 
We're gonna crank through those bad boys now. All right, guys, so pin pressing is just a huge uh, variation that I love to incorporate in my programming. Uh, I typically will use it in any situation for my sticky points. So if I get stuck, you know, anywhere midway through the press, that's where I wanna set the pins or maybe a little bit below that so I can work on pushing through that sticky part uh, and range of motion of the lift. So if you guys are struggling somewhere specifically in your press, uh, you wanna set the pins there and it's just a nice way that you can get extra pressing work in without it being a strict press or taxing your body too much uh, because it is a shortened range of motion. So throw those in. Uh, typically, like I said, I like to do anywhere from chin or above. So sometimes it's gonna be above my head, sometimes it's gonna be right at my nose or my forehead uh, or anywhere in that region of the press. Uh, but that's gonna be uh, one of the variations I throw in throughout the week to strengthen that overhead press. Another perk about uh, pin pressing is it's gonna help with tricep development. So uh, you can never have too strong of triceps when it comes to a press, especially if you get stuck during that lockout. So if you're looking to increase the tricep strength and you don't wanna do bodybuilding accessory work, you can obviously just do pin pressing, uh, which is gonna have direct work on the triceps. All right, so one of the last exercises we're gonna do today is going to be low incline close grip slingshot bench. Now, typically strongmen don't really bench that much uh, just because there's not many benching uh, events in strongman. Uh, so the benching frequency is gonna be a little bit lower, but what I like to do is use the bench uh, variations that are gonna help increase my overhead press. So incline bench is gonna be a great one. Then we just get a little bit more specific and we have a close grip on there for triceps. And then we add the slingshot, which is gonna allow me to overload that movement. And it's going to make it easier off of my chest and just focus uh, pretty much from midway and up in terms of where I'm gonna be feeling it the most. So. That's why I like using this, uh, just because it's gonna transfer over to the overhead press more. Uh, so we're just gonna do a couple sets of eight reps here around RPE seven or eight, uh, and then kind of wrap it up with some direct tricep work. And that's gonna be the main upper session uh, for my programming this week. And uh, hopefully you guys are learning some things and are gonna implement this into your training. All right guys, so I'm gonna finish up this session with just a little bit direct tricep work. So we're gonna do push downs. Now, something I typically think people do wrong with pushdowns, and I've been really guilty of this, is letting their shoulders start doing a lot of the work by pushing down to get extra reps uh, or just trying to just push a little bit harder, where when we're really trying to target the triceps specifically, and this is something I learned uh, when I was in Tennessee with Antoine and Juji, is we wanna work on puffing our chest out and trying to get our biceps almost touch um, our, uh, our radius. Okay, or, or as close to it as you can. And then when you push down, trying to get a little bit of uh, outward rotation with the wrists. So I'll show you what we don't wanna do. We don't wanna be hunched over and pushing down with our upper body and our shoulders. Instead, we wanna stay nice and close. I actually sink my weight down so I can get full range of motion. Keeping everything tight, pressing down, all the way back up, pressing down, just like so, nice and controlled. No shoulders are involved. It's all direct tricep work. So this is just gonna help transfer over to the press and the lockout, kind of my sticky point uh, where I get stuck when I press. All right guys, so that was pretty much it for this session. To be honest with you, I did not expect to get a 300 pound strict press today. I honestly had no idea where my numbers were with my strict press. My last recorded PR was 275. That was like a year and a half ago. So very happy it's just a great way to set the tone for the week and execute the plan that i talked about in the previous video about how i would attain that now obviously the next marker is going to be 315 uh, so we'll see if we can kind of gear everything towards that as a new strict press pr uh, but hopefully you guys like this video you're implementing the tips to increase your overhead press whether that's a strict press push press or any of the jerk variations uh, and you guys are just taking that and putting it in your programming. But if you have any more questions with programming, shoot us over an email. We program for people all over the world uh, from beginners to elite strength sport athletes. So uh, if you wanna take your programming and your progress to the next level, hit us up. Uh, and also check out the website for apparel. We really appreciate you guys when you're supporting us, um, repping the brand all over the place. It's really cool and it's just really fun to see. So until then, stay a lean, mean strength machine. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.